be in the alliance, but um, I don't know. I, I don't think you should be fearing the other ones at the moment. I think you, you should indeed fear the uh, uh, the guys. Maybe also send your scouts that okay. way later on. I think but I'll probably just do military then. If I do right. military, can I like... You can you can what switch if... back to, to uh, the other one when, whenever you want. Right. What if I just conquered everyone? Can I just conquer the entire UK military? You know, with the military. Yep. Like I want to do that. I just want to own it. I don't want sure. to just be it. And yep. all right. How do I how do I upgrade military? So choose the military one um, on the bottom left or on the top left of the thing. Okay. Uh, and, and then, then it just... says like uh, it should take two turns. Like there should now be like a, a number two. Wait. What? Uh, if you click on. Uh, it says research this technology to unlock the three military technology chains. Yep. How do I? Do you see now oh, at I the at the that. bottom? Well, if it's clicked, it should already see. Like, do you see now a two, um, on the circle, of technology? Uh, the bottom um, center. Bottom center. I see minor squares like supply foraging is what I see, and then. Supply. This is research. Yeah. The. Okay. Yeah. So click uh, on that so that it's like yellow. Okay. And now it should okay. s now you should see like a two. Yeah, I do. Okay, so it takes two turns for that technology to be researched. Okay. So now you've done that. So now final thing is um. Oh, I you know what this this might even be easier. You don't actually have to click press nine. <laughs> okay. And that should open diplomacy. You should see now like a map, right? Yeah. With all these factions. So, uh, you can choose a faction. You can see, like, the, 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 you all these icons and the masks that you see, like the green, yellow, or red mask, they kind of yeah. show you how good you are with them. Mm -hmm. And to the left of that, you see an icon. I'm not too sure what kind of icon it is. It's like a money, it's like a coin or something. It's a little bit difficult to see. But, um, it should either be gray red or green if it's gray it means that this is a faction that you can actually trade with and i would suggest press on those uh, that are gray uh, Wait, where's the gray where's the gray coin uh it's to it's it's usually to the left of um the masks but it's not each faction like if it's a faction you're already trading with it's 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 supposed to be green. Ah, uh, I see. Brigantines. I can trade with the brigantines. Okay, so press on on them, and then on the uh, center bottom, there should be like a a a, a round icon with like a scroll on it, and it's wait it, wait, the 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 brigantines are red. They're they're less red than the ones that I'm at war with, but they're like apparently not great standing with me, right? Hmm. I see. Should okay. I, should I trade with him or trade with uh, the? Let me find this Duminoni or whatever. Uh, Duminori. They're they're green, so I figure they're really good standing with me. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I guess I'm technically allies with them. So, are you already so trading with them? Let's see. Uh, can trade. Can projected, trade. Okay. So yeah. Value. Click so, click on them. And then okay. you, you should click on like the scroll. There's like a scroll uh, icon or something at the bottom, and it should it should say something like make proposal or make offer or something. Initiate diplomacy. Yeah. Uh, You'll get a whole lot of options. <laughs> okay. And it should uh, say uh, like request trade agreement somewhere in the middle. Uh. Declare. Let's see. How do I? Uh, can I scroll down, or is no. there all? I, okay. Oh, break trade agreement. Apparently, okay, so I'm already, you're already trading. So let me go. Let me see if there's someone else. Then there's. Um. This is just to boost that economy, and as you can see, like the options are like really deep. Like you can like request somebody to join your war or become a vassal. It's uh, it's out there, man. You can you can go really deep into the shit. <laughs> yeah, let's see. There's this. I I see someone I wouldn't mind trading with the, Kearneys, whatever you call them. Let's see if I can find them. Oh, I can't trade with them apparently. I That's actually weird. think you and I are not trading yet. It's because we're not like I don't have a dock, so there's no, 
way for me to trade with you. So we cannot, yeah. like... You sh I think you should, the first people you should take over is the Vivisici um, next to you. Yeah, I'm actually at war with the, uh, with the Aidui, <laughs> which is to my right. I do, to your right. Okay, I can actually trade with the Vivisici. I don't know if that, there's, oh, there's yeah, different ones I actually ones see I the Vivisici as well, yeah. Uh, the reason I was going to say you should take them over is because then I'd have a dock that I could, you know, because I, can, uh, then I could trade between that, trade. right? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, That's a good but idea. <laughs> but uh, maybe maybe let's see who the maybe take over the pick tones uh, actually is that the ones you're at war with? Uh no the pick tones are they to my left? They're yeah. above you to the left yeah. They're actually my allies, but I could break oh. the lines. No, 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 no. That, that's cool. Like, uh, it doesn't matter. I was just looking for a way uh, to connect. I was thinking to, to go to you, like, upward. It'd take, it'd take a while, but I think the Vivisici might be a good idea. Though, I think they're also my allies. I'm not too sure. Actually, they might not be. No, they're fogged. Okay. I'm, um, I think I'll trade with the Nemanet. Right, whatever. Right now, because because mm -hmm. uh, it says I can, and they are uh, far away from you, so it'll be a while before we take them over. Or there's there's at least a space in between. You, sure. know what I mean. Now, sometimes so. they also re will reject an offer. It's not always like even if they if you can trade, sometimes they will reject. So, see uh, what you can do there. I tried to trade with the Fifi but they didn't want to. So I was like, well, fuck it. Okay. They have rejected my offer. Yeah. Screw All right, them. then uh, yeah, then you can press nine again and stop the diplomacy. Then you're oh, okay. pretty much uh, almost done. Uh, but what I would suggest is um, pick your scout. Do, do I not have... want to offer other trade agreements, or do Maybe. I only have limited? Are, are there other people you can still trade with? Yeah. Oh, There's yeah. No, then go ahead. Yep, go ahead. Like you want to boost that economy. Like for example, w what I sometimes come into trouble with is in this game is you know that I you know recruit a massive army, but of course an army needs to be paid, right? And you know, they need to get income, they need to get food, and so the bigger the army, the higher the costs are, and then suddenly, you know, my economy starts to to crumble, and I don't have you know enough settlements and stuff to to support that. So. Okay. M Masilla just uh, accepted my trade agreement. Awesome. So if you if you are if you go back to the thing, you should actually see that you will get more money than you did before next turn. Okay. Uh, now, if they reject my trade agree agreement, does that lower our standing or no? No, no it doesn't. Like you can like do try it again, and for example, give something else next to a trade agreement. Like for example, you can say, well, you can have military access to my area, or you can have. I can give you money or whatever, you know. It's a sweetened deal, huh? Yeah, exactly. It's it that, that that's all politics is, man. Politics is a dirty business. <laughs> in uh, in Shogun 2, they don't have that here in uh, in Rome to 2 Total War, I think, because I'm, it might not be like a thing that happened during this day, but like you could um, strengthen your uh, relations by by marrying your daughter in the other's family. <laughs> they don't have that in this one? I don't think so. Uh, let's see. Trade agreement. Um, hang on one sec. I'm moving up my list. Uh, there's apparently a lot of people that I can trade with. I think it's because you're... I only had a very limited amount of people I could trade with but I think it's because of your dock that oh yeah actually I see it now you you don't see it now because you're on the thing but um, at your dock there's now like a white line with ships like trading between you and uh, oh my god it goes all the way around the world oh apparently I have same blood with some people mmm Yeah, so that's that story of House Julia and Cornelia, etc. Again, it's weird though. I'm same blood with these Demite people, but we're at war. Oh, 
Wow, well, this kind of Shakespearean. Huh. Brother against brother. Yeah. Dang it, I've only gotten one person to accept my dang trade agreement so far. That's All right, fine. Carthage. Come on, Carthage, let's see this. Trade agreement. You want to. Alright. Um. Screw you, brigantines. All right, that's it. That's it. All right. Um, it might also be because I don't know exactly what you're trading that they they're not that interested in it. Like the more stuff you get, the the more different things you can trade, and the more appealing it becomes. Anyway, uh, if you're back on the map now, if you press nine again to to go back to the regular map, like you can actually see that now, right? Like the white line uh, at your dock. Yeah. The uh, wait, I see a blue like the ocean and everything. Yeah. Do you not see like the white stripe like dotted line? Going from your dock across the No, oh. I don't think so. Okay, no, maybe. I see a blue stripe, though. It's like... Yeah, that's Like, the that land is now... Like, mm -hmm. the fog is now gone, because it's, like, the perimeter that I follow to get to them. I see. To trade. Um, so what I would suggest before ending turn is pick your scout, which is, uh... Okay, got the him. The guy. And then, uh, you should be able to see how far he can walk. Like, that area's yellow. And, like, send him in territory of that faction you're in war with by right-clicking on somewhere. And just send him out there and see see what you're dealing with. See, see, see what kind of units they have, how, how many... How far into the territory should he go? I don't know. Uh, I think he can go pretty far. There's a chance well, he might be found, but that chance yeah. is pretty small. Like, I can send him all the way next to the city. I can actually send him all the way to the... To the furthest point of the island or, wow. or, or of the peninsula. Really? Jesus. Okay. Should I send him that far? Uh, you can you can send him to the city. A, you you in order to get the province, in order to win, you only need to take the city. You don't need to take anything else. It's actually the only thing you can take. So it's all about taking cities. Oh wait, no, I can't send him that. Wait, is that it? Yeah, I can. Um, so send him all the way to the city? Yeah. Into it? Uh, you can check things there, yeah. Oh, agent actions. He can either sabotage or... You don't necessarily have to do that. You can just uh, then position him next to the city. Uh, if he's next to the city... Um, you can actually click on like the enemy's army and you can see what kind of units it has. For example, if I click on the enemy's army... Oh wait, you're at war with that guy? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought with the other guy, to, to your uh, bottom. Okay. Did I mess up? No, no, no. Crap. No, I messed up. Okay, good. I was, I was pretty sure it was these people. <laughs> So now you can, for example, click on the on the enemy army. You can, I think, see kind of what they have. Uh, they have. How do how do I check how many they have? I don't know. Four I don't know if you can do if you if you can do that. Yeah, four out of twenty, right? Yeah, they have Levy Freeman. Okay, yeah, I cannot see that because I'm not like your because of your scout. You can, you can oh. see that. These okay. They have this flattiest general, Levy Freeman, Levy Freeman, Levy Freeman. That's the it. The Levy Freeman are like kind of your standard soldiers. So okay. how how much money do you have left? Thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, how much money are you getting next turn? Uh, eleven thirty-four. Okay, so that's pretty good economy. So. Now's the question here. I'll leave it to you. Do you want to recruit new units for your army, or do you want to keep it at that and like just you know raise your economy? It's it's a double-edged uh, sword again. Like I said, I talked about before how I, you know, would spend all this time making a big army, but then I get into trouble because my economy could not withstand supporting that big an army. But I've also had to where I put so much time into like boosting my economy and stuff 
that my army was too small or too underdeveloped, and I got overwhelmed by enemy forces. Okay, I want to work on my economy now so that I can build my army for later, okay. I guess. Then I think you're ready, and I think you should press end turn, which is on the bottom right. Okay, uh, let's see, end turn. Um, so other things, like later, where's, where's the bottom? Oh, I see it. So other things later, like the, um... Now all the, you can actually see all the units. Look at the top. That's, that's all Taking factions. their turn, yeah. <laughs> Look how many there are. Can you imagine a game where everybody was a faction? Oh my god, <laughs> that would be insane. Own time. Mm. Oh, Jesus. So I encountered a whole bunch of factions. I'll actually save. You encountered them, huh? What is that? I think it means for the first time. I've encountered a new faction. Diplomacy with them is not possible. So like a whole bunch of uh, Carthage. I think it's because of your trade agreement with like the, the guys is that I now uh, have all these new people that I can interact with as well. Mm. You'll see it when your turn is. Like you'll, you'll see events and stuff. So now it's my turn. So I'm waiting still for the technology to work. Um, I have undeveloped land as well. I will... Um, you you chose an artist artisan's lodging, right? No, I maybe I did. I think I did. I'm not sure. Yeah. So for me, that gives 50 wealth from manufacturing, and it it provides the recruitment of Celtic warriors. I think for you, it it, it was something different, right? It was like Britannic something. I'm not sure. I got a lot of no no. I did not choose that one. It was something else. I it was the one that gave me the most bonuses, and I'm not really sure what it was. Well, there is. Oh, the craftsman's house, maybe. That's 70 wealth from manufacturing. That's the one I think I did. I see. For me, that unlocks uh, Celtic skirmishers. Uh, I get enclosed land, blah, 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 pit mine. I already have a mine, so another mine would be dumb. Um, so, for example, there's a, I, can, I can make a well. And it doesn't really do a whole lot in terms of economy. It, it boosts the growth of my my town since you know people will get water more so you know fertility will go up etc etc um, but it also does plus two public order per turn now public order is not necessarily important unless for example you want to boost taxes um, you can the taxes at the, this current rate are normal but you can like raise them twice you know you can be like Joffrey and say like we'll double your taxes like give me all your money but then of okay. course they won't be happy, and if it stays too long, that they might revolt, and you might have a rebellion on your hands. Mm. So, what I will do is I will go with <coughs> a artisan's lodging, as it unlocks the recruitment of Celtic warriors, and I want Celtic warriors on my side. Okay. It'll be two turns for that to make, and I can actually upgrade. Uh, something else that I have. Oh no, yeah. Wait, what? what? Oh. oh, I made a dumb mistake. I already had an artisan's lodging, so it was really stupid of me to make another one. Um, in that case, I'll go in close land. I'll go the farming route. So the uh, artisan's lodge that I have, I can upgrade that. I can upgrade that to a bronze workshop, which uh, unlocks the new unit Spear Warriors. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What about like cattle and horses that I see? I believe you have you need to have stables for that. You need to have a specific building in order to unlock the. If I go over there, I can tame them and like get cavalry or something. Oh, you mean in the field? No, no, no. Yeah. Those, those, those are just for show. <laughs> Aww. Okay, so I'm in war with this guy. These guys. I will send my scout. <coughs> Am I? I don't know if I'm at war with these guys. Hold on. What is it called? The the VVC. I'll open diplomacy real quick. 
Okay, so I'm not actually... Uh... Yeah, I can do the Vivici that you were talking about. We're not allies. Mm -hmm. So... Okay. Oh, no, wait. No, we are. Same blood. Fuck me. Oh, you can't fight them if they're your allies? Oh, I 